Welcome back to Trends and Friends. Well, if you're looking for an opportunity to get more involved in the community, listen to this segment because there's a lot of opportunities for you. I'm joined by Margaret Randall and Mary Gerlach who are here to tell us a little bit more about the Appointment Advisory Board. Ladies, thank you so much for coming and sharing these opportunities with us. Thanks for being here. Okay, well thank you for <laughs> allowing us to be here. Absolutely. Uh, Mary and I serve on the Appointments Advisory Board, but mm -hmm. the City of Lubbock has about 50 boards that citizens can serve on. Okay. Uh, and it gives you an opportunity to know what's going on in the city and to really impact uh, uh, things that uh, there are boards from the health board mm -hmm. to junk vehicles municipal to municipal water uh, authority yeah. junk vehicles that's junk a fun one <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. and uh, so what happens is if someone is interested in serving on a board they would create a profile and then list their preferences okay and then the city council is the one who actually makes the appointments we just look at the applications and then just send those forward uh, based on which ones are are available uh, during this quarter. Okay. Now, do they need to have special education or certifications in any of these particular areas? No. In some of them, in general, no. Okay. There are times where you need a master plumber and sure. that can be hard to find right. or something Absolutely, like that yeah. um, because ordinance requires that you have a specific person on mm -hmm. there. I think the thing I would say to, to be sure to do is list your preferences because okay. there's a general list that we only get to mm -hmm. if we can't find people within the preferences to make our recommendations. Yeah. Okay. So. You can list uh, from one through six choices, you know, so oh, number good. one can be your, can be the airport board, number two can be utilities board or okay. whatever mm -hmm. or something. So you just kind of look through it and then look at, there's a description for mm -hmm. each board that just kind of mm -hmm. says, you know, what kinds of things Things the board does okay when it meets which is important mm -hmm. because your attendance is, is important. right you need to be so, active right 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 and then you can just list and then if you can you can go back in and change it up mm -hmm. okay after you have made your choices and if you want to send an application mm -hmm. you will send that to the city secretary's office and, okay. um, not an application I'm sorry a resume you will right. send that okay. to the city secretary's office and then the application is on is it uh, my love I think they're gonna have it yes. at the end of the Very section good. so Very we okay. don't mess it up yes, <laughs> But how long is the appointment? So when someone signs up for it and let's say they're appointed to a particular one, how long is it? How long do they serve? It varies. Like uh, this particular board might be for three years mm -hmm. and you can apply or continue for a second term. Okay. Some boards might be just two year terms. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it, it varies Very and it will say that on the application or online when you look at that particular board. Very nice. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate it. Thank yeah. you very much. Well, thank you. Well, always good to have you all here. Good. And on your screen right there, you'll see uh, where you can go to get more information. MyLubbock.us backslash city boards. And you can always also go to Facebook and Instagram at City of Lubbock. Ladies, thanks again. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Coming up next, a preview of the upcoming productions at Will of the Wind. That's after the break.